Welcome to Electro Online. Our next example involves a moment. Notice that we have a beam that on one side is resting on this pillar, on the other side is supported by this cable that has a cross-sectional area of two centimeters squared. Notice there is a load on the beam of 4,000 newtons, 80 centimeters away from where it's supported by the cable, and we're trying to find the normal stress inside that cable. We're trying to find sigma. Sigma equals question mark in the cable. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to find the moment. The moment po about point A. So let's take this as point A, and we're going to find the sum of all the moments about point A. And of course, we know that's going to be equal to zero because nothing is moving. It's a static situation. So first of all, notice we have a force of 4,000 newtons, which is giving us what we call a counterclockwise moment, which means that this will be a positive moment of a force of 4,000 newtons, multiplied times the moment arm, which will be 200 centimeters minus 80, which is 120 centimeters. Now I realize that we have newtons and centimeters mixed, but I think we can be okay with that because they will cancel out. And then we have a second force, which is the tension, which is pulling up along the cable, so let's call that T for tension, and that will be a clockwise moment, so therefore we have minus the tension multiplied times the moment arm, which is 200 centimeters. And that will then add up to zero because we don't have anything that's moving. Solving that for the tension, notice that will give us 200 centimeters times the tension is equal to 4,000 times 120, that's 40,000, that's 400,000, and 80, that's 480,000. That would be newtons times centimeters. Let's see, that's 40,000, 400,000, that looks about right. And then, of course, when we divide both sides by 200 centimeters, notice the centimeters cancel out. Two of the zeros cancel out, so the tension inside that cable would be half of this would be 2,400, and that would be newtons. All right, so now we have the tension inside the cable. Now we can find the stress inside the, the cable because the stress is defined by definition as the force divided by area, which in this case will be the tension in the cable divided by the cross-sectional area. So this will be equal to 2,400 newtons divided by a cross-sectional area of 2 centimeters squared. Of course, we need to convert that to meters squared in this case. So we have meters squared, centimeters squared, 1 meter is 100 centimeters. But since we have this squared, we have to also square the numbers here. So this will be equal to, I think it's 12 million, but just to make sure here. So we have 10,000 times 2,400 divided by 2 and convert that, we get... Uh, 12 times 10 to the 6, so yes, that would be equal to 12 megapascals. That would be the stress along the cable caused by that load on the beam. And so this is how we do that.